hey everyone welcome back to another new video i hope you all are doing very well so today i'm going to fix this motherboard this is hp light to get for zero g for laptop motherboard and this came in here this motherboard condition it's not so display so now i'm going to fix this board so let's try to fix it so this is the motherboard part number so first of all i'm going to turn on this motherboard so you can you can see the problem so let's plug in so and i'm going to turn on this motherboard from here see the switching connector here so it's turning on uh, look at my power supply it's turning on with very low amps and this two led also glowing so now i will check all the required voltage step by step so first of all i will check clr 19 volt or main power rail in this current kind of sense register so we have 19 volt it's present and it's perfect next voltage i will check 3 volt 5 volt always voltage so this is a 5 volt very good 3 volt this also good next voltage i will check suspension or load switch as you can see here this is a 3 volt load switch and this is a 5 volt load switch so let's check here 3 volt 3 volt 5 volt 5 volt so as you can see here 3 volt 5 volt CLA, CLR and load switch everything is okay so next voltage I will check VDDQ or RAM supply here 1.2 and we have 1.2 volt present and it's good let's check the VTT 0.6 okay it's also perfect next I will check this 1.8 volt prime 1.8 is good here also 1.8 next I will check this 1 volt is also present this 1 volt is also good check here is also present now left only cpu core and vcc sm so before check the cpu core i will check this vcc sm and the vcc sm voltage is not present so this voltage is missing so first i need to figure out why this voltage is missing then i will check this vcc uh, cpu core voltage so we found all the voltage on this motherboard except this CPU core and VCCS. So now I'm going to check the evidence, this uh, both coil. So I set my multimeter in diode mode and I put the red probe in ground. Let's check here and uh, look at my multimeter skin, it's showing fully zero check here this also zero so that means CPU is fully short so before reject this motherboard I will visual inspection this CPU area this side and this side if I found any liquid damage, short capacitor or any burning sign, so this board can be repaired. If there is no physical damage or uh, short capacitor, corroded capacitor, burning sign, this board will not fix. So let's turn on my microscope camera so you can easily see. Open this it's thing.
maybe we found something here maybe you can see also maybe this customer is too lucky So look at this cap seated. It's look like corroded, and we can see the crack here. So remove this cap seated first. Check here. I need to use my watch here again. Yes, we got it. This is really short. So we can replace this capacitor from our donor board. This is done. Maybe short has gone. Okay, look at my multimeter screen. There is no short anymore. The skull also clear. So So let's check plugged in and start to turn on and look at my power supply it's taking enough amps. So now I'm going to check display is okay or not. It's turn on. And it's turning on. Okay. 
And we have HP logo. So it successfully fixed this motherboard. It was very easy. So first time I thought this bolt will not fix. But when we find out the bad cap seater, and I'm so happy to see the capacitor. So thanks for watching this video.